the only in Eyewitness News. Danielle and Patrick, the driver who has not yet been identified, is expected in court later this morning, and he'll be facing a long list of charges after this chase. Now, this is how the chase ended, the slow-speed chase, with a blue Jeep in the backyard of an Ophelia Street home. It started when police saw a Jeep that had been reported stolen, and officers attempted to pull over the suspect off of Hartford Avenue, but he took off. He struck at least one police officer and a police cruiser before turning down Ophelia Street, a dead end. When police got out of their cruisers, the suspect allegedly grabbed an officer and accelerated into the backyard. The suspect was subdued with a stun gun, and he was taken to the hospital along with his passenger. The officer had minor injuries. The slow speed chase, quite a sight for neighbors on Ophelia Street. I just hear the sirens and the police and everything, and when I look, they were just coming. It was just a car just driving really slow. He was literally driving like not even 10 miles per hour. I'm like, what did he do to drive this slow and 15 police officers is right behind him? And suspected drugs were also found in the car. And some of the charges that the driver now faces include assault with a deadly weapon, reckless driving, resisting arrest, eluding police, chemical test refusal, and driving with a suspended license. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.